Hello, beloved, and welcome to your reading. We're going to be looking at the messages the divine wants to give you in this timeless reading. As usual, it is always important to use your own wisdom and your own discernment as you're watching these readings. I want to remind you that we have our new moon ceremony, our candle magic that is going to be happening on the 19th of May. By now, you know, I do candle magic. And this ceremony is all about manifesting. Finally, <laughs> we are now over the energies of wiping, of cleansing, of banishing. We are now working towards these energies of the new moon, where we are going to be entering the energies of Taurus, one of my favorite signs, because Taurus is perfect for manifesting. The new moon is perfect for planting your seeds. So if you're wanting to be part of this new moon ceremony, go in the description box below and go to my website. On my website, you're going to be able to reserve your space on that ceremony and remember to write your petition. First of all, for yourself, writing as if everything that you're praying for has already happened. And then send a short and sweet petition to me. And then me and my team will be gathering together. We'll be doing our magic. You have been seeing the videos that I've been posting. We do our chanting. We do our singing. We really lift up the vibrations. We really bring the energy of festival cleansing anything that is standing in the way. And then go forward and really bringing the house down. Because it is always important to have that energy of a high vibration when we are working with your candles, when we are doing magic. So... I've already told you how to be part of that ceremony. And I want to let you know that the ceremonies do get booked out. So it is important to go and reserve your space as soon as you can. So we have a lot of ground to cover on the table. As you can see with our tarot cards, you are receiving three major arcana cards. And when we are talking about major arcana cards, it is always an indication that there are important life events that are taking place. And there are, point, there are important messages that the divine is wanting to give to you. So right now, as we are still in eclipse season, okay, the divine is wanting you to understand that as you have been working with the energies a couple of days ago of the full moon, you were doing what you needed to do. You were removing what was no longer serving you, okay? You were not longer afraid of the death card, of this major arcana card, because you're realizing but by that by allowing things to live your life, you allow new energies to take form. So when we're working with the um, solar eclipse and the lunar eclipse, we're wiping, we're allowing that death energy to take place so that we can have a rebirth, so we can bring in our manifestations. So the divine is saying that we are still in that energy right now, okay, of wiping, of cleansing, of removing. So this is still an opportunity for you to connect with your energies, to connect with your intuition and to ask yourself, what needs to leave my life? And how is maybe fear standing in the way and stopping me from doing the things that I need to do? Because by allowing fear to manipulate you, by allowing fear stopping you from taking action, you are not going to be receiving what it is that you want. Because you can see that in the middle of our cards, of our major arcana cards, there's that element of the full moon. There's that element of the moon card. The moon card, it is highest polarity. It's about sharpening your intuition. So the divine is saying, work with these energies. It is highest polarity because when you do, you allow things to let go. You use your intuition as you're moving forward and receiving your manifestations. And then you're getting up and going in the right direction. So the divine is saying that again, it is really important to emphasize this message to you because we are still heavily in eclipse season. Wipe the slate clean. Do that hard work that you need to do. Do the shadow work. Address any spiritual uh, diseases, STDs that you might be standing in the way. Cleanse those out of the way. Do not be afraid of anything because fear keeps you in the same life experience, in the same illusion. It is time to allow yourself to have a new manifestation, to have a new beginning. Because we have the star card, which is here, where the divine is saying to you that at the right time, like I already told you, on the 19th of May, it is now the time of planting your seeds of intention. And you have the star card where the divine is saying, if you've done the hard work and worked with the solar eclipse, the lunar eclipse, 
and did what you needed to do. You are now coming forward and you're planting your seeds of intentions and you are definitely going to be receiving what you prayed for. So it is very important for you to start understanding and understanding how to work with the energies, how to go through the transformation that leads to the receiving of what you've always wanted. So the divine is saying that it is important for you not to stand in your own way because it is now time for you to start glowing through whatever it is that you went through. So the divine is wanting you to understand that whatever challenges you've experienced now that Scorpio energy that we're working with, diving deep. We are going to be mutating that energy and going forward with a clean slate. And we are going to be starting to see things changing. We are going to be starting to see you glowing. So for some of you still in that energy where you just feel that denseness, that heaviness, that almost like depressive energy where you feel that the weight of the world is in your sh on your shoulders because we have our card that is indicating this. The divine is saying, don't let anything Stand in your way. Don't let your emotions stand in your way because you have new beginnings that need you to put on that cape to become your own superhero because now it is time to go through whatever it is that you need to go through so that you can glow, so that you can stand up, so that you can become your own superhero. So if you're understanding the message that the divine is trying to give you, it is important to comment in the comment section 777 to show that inner standing of the process that you're going through especially if you're just experiencing a lot of heartache a lot of heaviness a lot of dense energies the divine is saying it is scorpio season right now these energies are not going to last forever these new beginnings that are going to bring that lightness where you're going to be working with the energies of taurus where you're now able to physically manifest what you want, because this is what the energies of Taurus is all about, is us now physically actually receiving our manifestations. So this is the divine saying that it is important to go through whatever it is that you need to go through, because now you're working with the energies of understanding that when it is time to do the cleansing, it is time to do the cleansing and the spring cleaning, so that when spring finally arrives, it's finding you light. It's finding you with your hand opened and with your slate clean so that your manifestations can come true. So some of you who have important decisions that you need to be making and the divine is saying that make those decisions because those de the decisions, I don't know why I've got to start at the moment because a lot of information comes in all at the same time. So the divine is saying you're receiving the energies of the two of wands. Okay, there are some powerful decisions that are here. Some decisions are opening the keys to something and some of the decisions that you have feel like you literally have a magic wand. You literally are starting to see that you are powerful as you're coming up from the depth of these waters that are here. Okay, as you're coming up from this, you are now not only taking your power and holding your magic wand and understanding that you can create anything that you want. And also now you have the wisdom and the understanding and the keys to start creating the life of your dreams. You can see that we have all our grapes that are here. And grapes always indicate abundance. In the olden days, I'm sure you've seen the pictures where the kings and the queens are being fed grapes. Because this is a symbol of abundance. This is a symbol of plenty. So the divine is saying that you literally have a key that is going to be opening up new doors for you. You need to remember which direction you need to go into and stay focused in that direction. And remember that you have the magic wand to make things happen because you are a divine and sovereign being. It is important for you to start stepping up to the energies of the king of swords where you feel powerful and where you're going forward with a lot of inner wisdom. And as you're going forward with a lot of inner wisdom, you're starting to make things happen in a way that is bringing again, like I already told you, abundance resources because you're receiving the energies of the king of coins in the normal tarot name this is the king of pentacles so can you see you have choices to make which direction are you going into the divine is asking you which choices are you making make one choice because you're remembering that when you're stuck between two options you have to choose one because now you're understanding that a rabbit rather if you go to chase two rabbits you get none so focus on that one rabbit, focus on one direction until you get that rabbit and then you can go and chase the other one. But don't let yourself be torn between two decisions, two directions, 
because when you're torn then your focus is not going to be leading you to these energies of an upgrade connected to you stepping up to your royalty the energies of the kings you're re receiving two kings you have the wisdom you have the knowledge but you have to know how to use that wisdom and knowledge to make the money to bring in the abundance and the resources connected to the energies of the king of coins so whatever it is that you're experiencing, the divine is saying that you are being gifted plenty at the moment. Make a choice. Which way are you going to go? Which rabbit are you going to chase? Chase it. Stay focused until you get it. And then in getting it, you can go and chase the other one. But when you're torn between two options, you just don't really focus your energy on anything. Then you get half-baked results. Okay. So as we're looking at our last set of tarot cards... You're receiving the energies of the uh, Nine of Swords. Okay, we already spoke about these energies connected to the Moon card. So for some of you, maybe you're currently experiencing a lot of nightmares. There's just a lot that is on your mind. There's just a lot that needs your attention. The Divine is saying to you again, once again, we are repeating the same message. We are working with the heavy and dark and dense energies of Scorpio. We are working with these energies of the Lunar Eclipse. And because of this, you could just be feeling like this. But remember, this is not going to last forever. You have to make a decision to become your own superhero. You have to make your decision to get up and to use this moon, this full moon energy that is around us at its highest polarity and to start using your intuition to liberate yourself, to free yourself from whatever it is that you're currently experiencing. Because the divine is saying that again, you are going to be upgraded. Your wishes are going to be coming true. Okay, so for some of you, you just could be seeing or you have already experienced in the, in the recent past unexpected news. Okay, there just could be something that happened. There just could be something that you discovered. There just could be just some unsettling news that is currently around you. Again, the divine is saying that understand that bad times and heavy times don't last forever. It is important to connect with your guides, to connect with your with your astral team, to connect with your guardian angels. If you're experiencing fear, if you have experienced some unexpected news that have just been shocking, this is almost expected because of the moon cycle that we've just gone through. We have just gone through two eclipses. And so they do bring energies of darkness, they do bring things that were hidden in the dark to the surface. Because this is the time of endings, so that when it is the right time, everything that needed to die, everything that needed to end out of your life, is now ended. And you have taken the time to process everything, so that when it is time to now start manifesting, you can do so. We have our two cards that, is, that are here, and these are connected to the divine wanting to bring in some advice to you, okay? Because the divine is saying that your wishes are going to be coming true. If you remain focused on one rabbit, on one goal, on which direction you're going into, focus on that, focus on one thing. And then you see that once you've get, got that rabbit, you can go and get another manifestation. There are many manifestations that are wanting to come in, but just focus on the one that is the most important to you. And then once you have brought this into your experience, into your reality, you can then choose the next one that you want to bring in. Because the divine is saying to you that once you start manifesting, once life is getting good, once things are just vibing at the highest level possible, you're going to be seeing that people from the past, or you could have already experienced people from the past come to you asking for money, asking for help, asking for assistance. The divine is saying going forward, it is important that you just don't give, give, give and give until you have nothing left. It is now time for you in the here and now to start creating some boundaries or even saying to yourself, the money that I'm going to make, the resources that I have, I am going to donate, I don't know, 10%, 1%, whatever percent that you want to donate. You put that money to one side and when people ask you for assistance, you're able to give from that pot because now you've delegated this pot is for this, that is for that and that is for that. But you're also remembering that you are an earth angel and the divine does want you to help other people. The homeless, me and my family, we help 
cats because where we are, there are many cats that don't have enough food, many kittens. So we make sure that the food that we have, medication, whatever it is that they need, we're here for them. We help the homeless people. So whatever feels right to you, go and do that because the divine always wants you to do charity. Why is charity important? Because charity shows that you now understand that there's plenty to go around. And by giving, you open up your hand to receiving. But at the same time, boundaries are important. So we can see that Our Lady, she is holding her scale. So she is giving in a balanced way. She's not allowing people to take advantage of her. She's not allowing to give too much. And then she falls into the energy of resentment. So the divine is saying that as you're going forward, budgeting and making sure that you are giving whatever feels right to you so that the divine is using you as an earth angel of other people, just as the divine is using me, giving this free reading here on YouTube as an earth angel for you. We're all understanding that we're all part of a team and it doesn't matter how small, how big your contribution is, a contribution is a contribution. But by giving, you open up your hands to receiving, but always remain balanced and centered and don't allow people to take advantage of you. So there is going to be new beginnings around your money that are going to really feel good because you're receiving the energies of the page of pentacles. Remember, you receive the king of pentacles. Having the page of pentacles is also good because it brings an energy of joy. It brings an energy of excitement and energy of newness. So there's going to be a new journey that you're going to be going on, connected to your money, connected to your resources. So, beloved, this is the message that the divine wanted to give to you. Comment in the comment section and let me know with an emoji how you're feeling right now as you've listened to this reading. And remember, of course, that if you're wanting to be part of our new moon ceremony, I'm so excited for the Taurus full moon, new moon rather, because the new moons really usher in new beginnings that allow us to plant those seeds of intentions and Taurus all about money, resources and the things that we care about. So it is going to be a good time. And if you're wanting to be part of that ceremony, everything that you need to know is in the description box below. I'm going to see you very soon. It is a goodbye from me.